everybody. Here we are with Miss Julie Noted, mother Ooh. of the pigs, queen of the spit roast. Oh, the roast, darling. I love a good roast, especially on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Plenty of little pigs around the bit table. Bit of afternoon delight. Afternoon delight. Oh, darling. Like uh, a sugar delight, darling. <laughs> tell you, it's fabulous. I do love a good spit <laughs> roast. <laughs> So, Julie, where can everybody find you? Oh, like a pig on a stick, aren't I? Um, you can find me every Thursday at Kiki, darling. Uh, and then alternate Saturdays doing Void as well. Um, in the same building, but underground with some sweaty pigs. Lovely. And Have you're been. also on uh, Facebook? Yes, Facebook and Instagram and as Instagram. well. Instagram. Um, so, so, Facebook yeah, is Julie. P noted, poof and And. Uh, <laughs> 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 that was powerful. <laughs> Powerful, darling. Powerful. And Instagram. Strong, strong. You're on Julie. Julie Noted 01. As the <laughs> special agent. Special agent 007, 00 session. Here come to me. <laughs> oh, I don't know. But I am. So. We're back in the workroom and Arsha has been sent home. Oh, I know, it's a shame. And it's Did you funny. like Arsha? Um, I'll be honest, she wasn't one of my favourites, no. I mean, okay. I just thought, in, I didn't like the fact that in the task that they did, she was so dismissive of playing the older character. I think it would have been a great opportunity. If it were me, I'd have fucking loved to have played the older character. I'd have been getting annoyed at being passed on the young bitch that she was supposed to play. Um, but I do think as well, being a bitch, come on girl, you're a drag queen. It should be bloody easy to be a bitch. And I don't know, but sometimes that makeup were looking like HD was not her friend. Do you know no. what I mean? Well, I mean, to be but fair. I don't want to be awful, because I'm sure she is a very good queen, but I just, I thought the whole attitude and everything, I kind of saw why she went, really. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the lighting yeah. has been really off anyway. Yeah, on, I'm talking like I worked on that. <laughs> you should see me in real life. Good God, girl. <laughs> I'm not that bloody good. I'm like a bloody Revlon counter person, mate. <laughs> That's so much. But it has been. The light has been really yeah. off. Like when uh, Charlie Hyde was doing her lip yes, sync, yes. there was purple all up the side of her face because yeah. they got the, the colour wrong. Um, lip sync? Well, I, I, <laughs> Sorry. So while she was on the stage yes. and the lip sync was happening. Yeah. <laughs> yes, while she, she was stood there. She had all, all up her face. And yes. I think that's happened quite a bit, actually, this yeah, season. Yeah. That they've not had quite the right... Colour yeah, and actually, you know what, boy? I do agree because I've seen some videos, like not RuPaul related, where they've actually looked a lot better. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like Alexis, there's a video going around, I think she did with Cosmopolitan, where she does like a transformation and she looks amazing at the end of it. I mean, someone tagged me in it, I thought, you bitch. I don't know, try to give me tips, probably. But you know, I don't need tips, I'm gorgeous <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> not really. And I think she had more to give, but that's how the cookie crumbles, yeah, isn't it? Of that's course. how it goes down. Yeah. So, this week's challenge is the, the, the reading the reading, challenge. The so, reading. the mini challenge is uh, Hold it a roast. reading. It's like in... a Sunday roast. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually got some pot pads over oh. there for later on, darling. Well, we are. Got them you know, when we're a bit peckish halfway through this, I'm we can peckish. probably have one, I think. I'm always peckish for a bit of pie. <laughs> so, they have to read each other. Yes. And uh, Alexis gets a little bit upset. Having, this is my issue with this, yes. having ripped somebody for their yes. teeth. Yes. And, uh, you know. Well, she has. I mean, when, in a lot of the episodes, she's been one of them queens who's been the first to sort of rip into somebody and not really hold back on anything, the looks or their appearance or anything. So I thought, girl, that's just, you know, calm the fuck down. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If someone's going to read you, you are a broad queen. It's not like she sat there and went, you're a fat bitch. Do you know what I mean? You're a, a man, you're broad, you're built, aren't you? Do you know what I mean? So come on, you are going to bloody play on the bloody thing. I thought you're soft cow, but anyway. Uh. But this is what I mean, the drag queens. And this is what I think it should be expected. And especially Alexis, being a queen who's been around for a bit of a, longer than some of the other queens, especially the ones that were reading her. And she was surprised that they were coming out with that. I mean, she must have said stuff like that to the past. Well, I, still imagine. I mean, you would imagine, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. Would imagine. Uh, I felt like everybody did really well in that little mini challenge. Yeah, they actually. were good. They really went for it. Yeah. I just don't think they, <laughs> they kind of calmed down a bit when they got to Michelle Vazar, didn't they? Well, yeah, but... that's the thing, isn't it? So the roast itself was uh, 
about Michelle Visage. And yes. this was the first time that Ross Matthews has been into the workroom with Christ, them. I wish it were about him sometimes. And it, my <laughs> God! That bloody voice! Oh my word, it's like his neck's too pushed down. There you go, that's a Ross <laughs> tip for you. Ross <laughs> Matthews. And so it was his first time in the workroom. The yes. one thing that I noticed was that it felt a little bit like uh, RuPaul was trying desperately not to be overshadowed by him. You know, there yes. was just a little implication of irritation that Ross was saying so much. Well, that's because he's irritating as well. I don't know where he's come from. I've never actually heard of him before until I started watching RuPaul. But I can see why he would get on my bloody nerves. I mean, he walked in the room and it was like he suddenly had this air of, well, I'm a comedian. I know exactly better than you. But where was the tips? Do you know what I mean? Like, you've got to be funny. Yeah, we get that. Be funny. But what, what can you do? What can, if you're an experienced comedian, give me some tips. Give me some material. Give me some ideas on how you come up with the material. I mean, all he was saying was, just be funny. Dead funny. It was a bit like, you know like when Rue goes in there and he talks to him and sometimes if the, the Queen's come back with something which, you know, you kind of think, ooh, that's a bit odd. He'll sort of play it in a sort of slightly comical sort of manner where he's not like too bitchy towards yeah. him. Whereas I think Ross sort of went in there and he was just like, I'm going to be a bitch to him all. That would make, I mean, whether he was trying to, I mean, that was his game to make him nervous maybe, you know, put the pressure on them, fair enough. But then I kind of think when they're in that room, that's the whole production side, isn't it? Yeah. Put the pressure on them when they're not there, but yeah, yeah I don't know. That's what I We did see a little bit of the bitchy side from RuPaul though, didn't we? Because when uh, Alexis Michelle had complained about people making fun of her size, yeah. uh, Ru brought that up and said, yeah, yeah. so you think it's okay to take the piss out of other people yeah. as long as they don't do it to yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was a bitch, but I also think he was it was right to bring her out on that. Do you know what I mean? None of the other queens had done, whether they felt they couldn't do because they were worried they were going to upset her more or not, I'm not sure. I look like a 45-year-old lesbian, but you know. <laughs> I don't fucking, I've got drag mums who are actually older than me, and I look older than them half the time. <laughs> See, but if you can't take the piss out of yourself, then what, how can you take the yeah, piss out exactly, of other people? Do you exactly. know what I mean? And, the whole thing with drag is that it's not serious. No, God no. Like, Christ if it is serious, then you're doing something else. You're yeah. doing gender performance, or you're doing, you art. know, you're a performance art. Dance. Exactly. Art. Whereas <laughs> drag is about taking everything and yeah. making it into a joke. Yeah, of course it is. the whole world you know. is a joke, isn't it, really? <laughs> well, that is at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't watch the news anymore. Oh, yeah, well, so I do, but we're going to gloss over <laughs> everything that's going on at the moment, really. <laughs> Let's not get political. <laughs> we saw that, and then we also saw with Pharamone as well. Like she mm. said to Pharamone, "How are you feeling? <laughs> uh, you've been in the bottom quite a lot. a lot. You need to be good at this. Yeah. Otherwise, you might go home." <laughs> like she couldn't have given her a more clear indication. That you're probably going to you... go home this <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> she might as well have said, "Farah." You're done. Don't write any shit. <laughs> Just pack up your stuff <laughs> and, fuck, and off. fuck off. Yeah. And that was what she needed to hear. Yeah. And she still didn't save it up. No, she didn't. She, she didn't. To me, because she's she had a bit of um, because she's so incredibly beautiful mm. and she really is stunningly gorgeous. Mm. But because she's so beautiful, she's in some of the episodes, had a bit of a free pass. You know, yeah. like the week when Eureka got sent home. Yeah, that's. but I think that's been something with RuPaul throughout all the series. A lot of the queens, if they are particularly good looking, you know, they're very femme and very pretty. I don't know whether that's an American thing especially, but they do tend to survive a little bit longer than I think they should do sometimes. Certain queens, like Charlie Hyde's, for example, end up going home quite a lot sooner, but I think Yes, she was pretty, yes, she's good, but I think that could be the only downside sometimes to a lot of the series is that they just end up getting sent home, sent home too late into it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Ahead of, I mean, if you look at someone like Charlie High, she'd have been great that week. And then we also had the same thing with Peppermint. Oh, Pepper. I actually like Peppermint. I, really I do like, like her. Peppermint I really do as well. like her. And, and the more I see of her, the more I like her. Yeah. What I love, what I love when you watch it and you get one queen, you just each week seems to get better and better. And I think she felt the pressure that week anyway, because she, I'm right in saying she'd been in a, a bottom two yes. a couple of times and she hadn't won um, stuff. So she definitely felt that pressure, but rather than 
moaning or worrying. She got on with it and I like that. I think that, you know, she took it on board, she got on with it, she looked fucking fabulous. And she was good, she was yeah. great. I mean, she won, didn't she, didn't she? She did, didn't she? she did. I did bloody watch it, I promise. I just forget, crap. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got, if you're given the right person, like Michelle Visage, you've got a lot of material to go off, really. Exactly, they were gifted, weren't yeah, they? They and were it's, given yeah. a gift. And it's like, I'd say it's different to doing something like stand-up, where you, that is, that is funny, but you've got to be intelligent and quick and go, this is like you are just being told, you've given a free pass to take the piss out of someone, aren't exactly. you? Exactly. And now, say all of those things that you've ever thought. You couldn't say. Exactly. But then you do. <laughs> like we do in Manchester, <laughs> about plenty of queens. <laughs> <laughs> Not for any of them. They probably do about oh. me all the fucking time. They probably say, Who's that bitch coming getting my nights? <laughs> <laughs> so now we come to issue of the week. Oh. Do, 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 do. It's like the countdown thing. Uh, yeah, so Emily <laughs> talks about uh, her experience in Russia that she went to Russia and yes. because she was presenting female, but her passport is male, yeah. that she had a lot yeah. of trouble with the, the death. I mean, it's it's just awful, isn't it? Really, what's going on in Russia? It's yes. terrible, especially in Chechnya, isn't it as well? Well, yeah, all that all mm. that stuff is horrendous, and the fact that there's no outcry from the United there's Nations nothing. or no one's the... bloody fucking talking about exactly. it, you bastards. Get on with talking about it, Christ Almighty. Yeah. <laughs> Get like a sign out in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Protesting. <laughs> <laughs> but there should be definitely more being done about yes, that. Yes, there should be. However, if you go to a country like Russia, yeah, and you have on your passport that you are male. Male, yeah. You should I, probably be aware that you need to present yeah. as such. I think. It, well, it would be like me going to our passport place mm. and having a big wig on. Yeah, and I don't look like no, the of course, person in my passport. But I think you know the rights are the wrong. She should have been a bit more, I guess, aware of what was going to happen. Yeah because it was going to happen because I think one of the other queens said it's actually illegal yes, in Russia exactly. as well so and you just have to and, be aware of that before you yeah. go anywhere like if you yeah. go to Morocco and you yeah. start having sex on the beach with your boyfriend you're going to get arrested you're going to get put in prison you get and it's not going to be a nice if experience. you do that on Blackpool Beach you'll get bloody found out crass or well, but yeah <laughs> but yeah I think no. it's crossed they'd join in in Blackpool though. I'd just be grateful if I got shagged anyway <laughs> <laughs> on a beach, on a lake, on a boat, <laughs> in a cupboard. <laughs> that there isn't always that much of a, um, a cultural outward education no. from some of the queens who are on the show. No. That they're not always that clued up about different cultural references, different no. things that are going on in the world. They're really yeah. into the celebrity culture in America, but yeah. not necessarily world politics yeah. or what else is happening I in think, the world. Yeah, I think, I don't know whether that's an Americanism or whether it's, I don't know, but I think these, especially these queens, as the show gets more famous, as it gets well more well known around the world, it's said time and time again about celebrities, they're in a position where they are to be representative of the people that they are representing in a sense. Because I think in a way they've got a bit of a duty to, because they are in that position. Darling. <laughs> Juto. That's, that's how I think about yeah. it. You're putting yourself up there as somebody, maybe not look up to, but yeah. somebody who has a voice yeah. and has something to say. And they're in such a privileged position exactly. to do that. I mean, you look at people so, like Lady Gaga, uh, all the gay rights that she does. Beyonce with like Black Lives Matters and stuff like that, you know, they are in that position where they can probably say and do things that the average person can't even get away with doing yeah. half the time. Do you know what I mean? Ooh, my vagina's gone a bit tight though. So it's similar, <laughs> like a much smaller scale, obviously. Yes. But similar, and I think you have a duty, like you say, yeah, you to do. be a bit more clued up you about do. stuff, to be looking yeah. at what and is going on. And because as well, especially with drag now, the, the, the audience is getting younger and younger. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? A lot more. Teenagers are getting yeah. into it now. God, I was watching this morning and there was a young lad on, he was 12, and he could do makeup better than bloody me. I was like, Christ almighty, but these kids, because of the YouTube and because of the internet, they are watching it from a far younger age. So, we've had our little workroom discussion. Ooh, now we're into the roast. Yes. The roast itself. Roast. Shay is the opener for yes. it. Who uh, I thought looked fucking fabulous. I thought I that. I thought she looked really good. I loved her. Um, and she was good. She was like, she was cool. She was calm. 
Um, a little bit sassy, you know, and I thought a really good, strong opening. Personally, I don't think it really matters whether you go in first, second, last or third. You'll get seen if it's bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? It doesn't really matter where you go. Yeah. But I think for an opener, yeah, you're probably going to... I think the opening one is the most nervous one because you're the first queen to speak. And I'd have probably been shitting myself as well. And she did really well. I thought yeah. I really liked it. I, like, I thought she was brilliant. What I will say about this is it made me like Michelle Visage a lot more than I already did. Like, I like Michelle, she's yeah, great. Yeah, she's fabulous, isn't she? She's the best man in drag I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> she's the best drag queen on RuPaul's Drag Race. Mad. And what I like about Michelle, and which is, you know, when we go on to some of the other queens, she is a woman who you know can take some shit. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? She can take it, you can probably push it, and she'll, you know, sometimes they were saying things and she was just kind of going, you know, take the piss out of this woman. She wants you to. Yeah. She wants you to grab you by the tit and pull. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? That is what she wants. And she but... was, and her laughing, her yeah. laughter was so infectious. Yeah, she it, was, yeah. Like, I'm, she's laughing, and because yeah. she's laughing, I'm laughing even she's harder. She's fabulous, absolutely. Um, no, she can be very direct and very blunt with what she says. She will always find something good to say about them. Second, we had uh, Sasha, Sasha yes, Velour. Yes, We looked very French. Yes. I loved it, mate. I, that big heart was fabulous. It was like a, a really kind of european -y look, wasn't it? Because it was almost Spanishy as well, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, because yeah. the shape of the hat was almost oh, was, like I a I just thought she was going to get a paintbrush out and start doing a painting of herself. <laughs> I did. Um, she looked fabulous. <laughs> She was one of the most worried about how she would yeah. do because she's quite intellectual, yeah. quite intense. Yeah. But I thought she was hilarious. And she kept it really morning. cool and very, what I liked, when she first started talking, you were thinking, ooh, this isn't going right. But she was playing on that. Yeah. She was playing on the fact that she wasn't going to be all OTT. So yeah. she played on that and then that's where the humour came from it, which yeah. I thought was funny. I mean, she was saying stuff and she went, Oh, well, I thought it was funny. It, it was, was the constant fun. misdirection. I'm taking you this yeah. place, but actually, bam, there's the joke. We're yeah. going over here, and bam, there's yeah, the joke. Yeah. And that was what I thought was so clever about what she mm. did. Uh, so after her, we had Valentina. Valentina, oh, she's gorgeous, isn't she? Isn't she beautiful? And she's actually good. She is good as she well. Is. Which I like that, because when we were talking about Farron being pretty and being carried with your looks, well, you know, she wasn't probably the best one. Yeah. I think what carried Valentina was the energy that she brought to the she performance does, yeah. rather than the yeah. actual content. Trinity Taylor was mm. next, dressed kind of like a, a southern country girl. Well, hello everybody, <laughs> my name is Trinity Taylor. Yeah, she Taylor. was, she's good. I mean, she's good at certain characters. Yeah. I really liked Trinity, to be fair. It's a shame that she wasn't that good. <laughs> No, this sense. wasn't maybe her finest moment. No, was which was it? a shame, really, and I don't get why. And I think the downfall, and I think they said it into her, and the, the thing is, she should have just been herself. I think that would have been fine. She probably would have been funnier, probably quicker. But I think as well, when it starts off crap, and you're playing a character and you realise it's going crap, it was almost like you could see it in her face thinking, yeah. oh, this is not funny. No bastards laughing. Michelle looks like she's falling asleep. Ross Matthews looks like he's going to chirp up and start fucking singing or something like that. You know what I mean? RuPaul's expression kind of just stays the same. But, you know, <laughs> hopefully she'll learn from that as well and learn that her strength is in being herself, really. Yeah. So then we had uh, Pheromone. 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 Oh. Highlighted to the sky and back, <laughs> isn't she, darling? Yeah. She is fabulous and she does look lovely, but God, she don't half moan. And she just didn't listen to any of what they said. And like we said, she was the only bitch who actually got any tips from Ross Matthews. Yeah. I mean, girl, he'd already pretty much told you you were going home anyway. And then you go on fucking stage and ignore all what the tips he'd said. The best thing she could have done if she was thinking, probably I'm going to go home this week, is take what he said, even if I'm still shit, don't give them something else that they can pick up yeah. on. I was incredulous about it, was that in the workroom she'd said, my go-to place is not to be a bitch. And then everything that she said in the roast was just the most goddamn yeah. awful thing you could yeah. say to somebody it's, it's, ever. I know, I, that's the weird thing, isn't it? When you're doing a roast, it's finding that balance between, between it being are you just funny. being a <laughs> that <laughs> Bleep that There's one a ball. Oh, girl, come on. Uh, <laughs> it's the fine line between being a see you next Tuesday, darling, yeah. um, and being funny. Do you know what I mean? Died. No. And then she just got quick. 
<laughs> you could almost say it was like she was thinking, I'm doing crap. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, ooh. it was really awkward, wasn't it? it the was whole way through. Awful. Awkward. <laughs> so, peppermint is next. Our little favourite spearmint. Yeah, who'd been uh, terribly worried about yeah, doing it. Yeah, she had, yeah. She was worried because she's never done one before. No. And yet she got a baseball bat and smashed the whole she fucking place girl. up, didn't she? Did. She did, she took the, the house down. The house down, the yeah. roof down. Shut the roof down, darling. But she was good and I loved that. I loved that she just went in for it. And yeah. she looked fabulous she as well. Did. That she did, she looked absolutely man. glorious, didn't yeah. she? It was yeah. great. So, not quite as glorious looking. Uh, Nina Bonina, Osama <laughs> Bin Laden, Chelsea Hannah Brown. Chelsea Hannah Brown. Oh, I like that. Who's Chelsea Hannah Brown? Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana Brown. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. Uh, yeah. Hannah Montana <laughs> Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Nina Bonina, Hannah Montana Brown. Oh, good uh, God. So, yeah, it's uh, a shaman. Like, she was another one who decided to go with a character. Mm. It's not the right moment for a character. You, even if the, you've not got the time to do the backstory, spent half the time talking about the character. Yeah. And not about um, Michelle Visage. I nearly said someone else that I know then. <laughs> um, never met this bull cow before. Yeah. Where she come from? What church does she go to? I don't care. Let's start talking about Michelle. Do you know yeah. what I mean? When we did get to it, it was okay. It was funny. But by that point, you've not really got much time to really talk about it. No. And then it kind of just ended. They'll have other tasks, no doubt, coming up in other weeks where they have to play characters. Yeah. I don't think this was a task where they have to do no. that. So talking about people dressing up, now we have the finale act. Ooh. Alexis Michelle. Oh my God. Who's uh, dressed in green with what can only be described as two enormous green loofers. <laughs> she looked like she was going to start bloody washing. <laughs> She looks like Come one of them, here, she, good old she looks like one of them people that stands on the side of a street and goes up to your car and goes, 999, I've cleaned your windscreen. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for the wheels. If she hadn't yeah. painted herself green, then okay, you can then yeah. wear a, bre a breastplate and yeah. then make a joke out about, you know, usually yeah. I'm, I've got the biggest tits in the room, but tonight I'm here with RuPaul yeah. and Ross Matthews, who are clearly I've, the biggest yeah. tits in the room. Play on that, but I also think if you're going to wear that kind of top where it does come down to here and you've not got a breastplate, just contour here. Well, do you know what I mean? You give that illusion anyway. Yeah. Plenty of other queens do it. She's good enough at makeup to have no doubt done a contour yes. though. And it probably would have looked better. I mean, I don't know why she wanted to look like the Incredible Hulk. I didn't really get that part. She didn't get angry and she wasn't playing. I was, it's either that or wicked, weren't it? And I was thinking, you weren't wicked and you weren't fucking incredible either, darling. <laughs> so I don't know where she was going. I don't know why she was green. Is it green with envy? I just don't understand. What were you green about? It just made she no wasn't sense. Wicked or incredible. It's like a giant piece oh, of snot. But, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. It just looked very unrehearsed. She just spent more time colouring herself in to look. Like, she looked like the big green giant, you yeah, know what I mean? Like, she, she was selling sweet corn. <laughs> but I just, I just, do you know what I mean? I mean, God, if it had been the other way around and she was stood in front of me, I'd have had a field there. Get that with the sweet corn. <laughs> but I've had a great time. But, you know, but, here she comes, ho, 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 and all that crap. Ho, ho, ho. Green giant. See, fabulous. Oh, fabulous. Now we're on to <laughs> who's that. safe, who's not safe, and who gets sent home. Yes. So the winner was Peppermint. Was she a worthy winner? I think she was. I think in the in the sort of the scheme of all the queens that had been uh, on there and had been funny, I did kind of hope Shasha might have won, to be honest. She was probably, it was between them two, yeah. as far as I was concerned. But I see why it was good to let Peppermint win. She needed to win. She needed that boost of confidence because you could see that she'd gone in there with it all. She was really, she was really trying, weren't she? Yeah. She really wanted it and I think it was good to give it because hopefully now, now that she's been given that chance to win uh, one week, she'll then ride on that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I think she needed it more than Sasha probably did. Yeah. Would you have picked Faramone to go home? Yes. Like for Alexis, she made the same mistake that Aja made the week before. Yeah. She stood yeah. up and went, well, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this. And I think it was a downfall, you know, she said, I'll be in the last uh, or the first. I'm this, I'm that, I'm good at that, but you can't say this and you can't say that to me. You were being a princess yeah. and not a queen, do yeah. you know what I mean? And that's where I think it kind of went wrong for Alexis. But then obviously between them in the lip sync, that's again where her strength came back. 
Yeah, I really mean, I, I have to say, I didn't think either of them were that great. Were that great. No, I think they just could see it was going wrong, yeah. both of them. Yeah. And, and it was the running split that yeah. saved it for us. It was. I it, mean, you know. that is quite impressive. You yeah. ran and then jumped into yeah. the split. And one thing okay. as well, yeah, God, I mean, Christ, I couldn't do the splits. I'd split in half. <laughs> but that's why I wouldn't rely on something like no. that. You know, don't rely on doing that. You know, they were both so bad in the actual task itself and then in the actual lip sync, they, were, it just, they just didn't channel anything good into the actual lip sync. So you probably were thinking, who's got the most to go forward? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I think if they had picked Farah to stay, it would have been the same again the week after that and the same again the week after that. She yeah. was just crumbling week to week. But that is the thing she should probably take from it. I mean, she did say, obviously at the end, she you knew she went, maybe I just wasn't ready. And maybe she wasn't ready, but hopefully she will learn a little bit from yeah. it. Yeah, that's something which I have realised more and more and more. The more that you do, the more you realise the less you know, yeah, and course. the more you have to learn about all of this stuff. Yeah. You have to learn more about makeup all the time. You have to learn more yeah. about how to do hair, how to sew clothes, how to do this, yeah, how to do yeah. that. Da, da, da. There's always something else which you need to learn how yeah. to do. I don't know. I mean, you know, then you've got Valentina. I'm oh, sorry to go to Valentina, but she's only been doing it for what? About 10 months or something, apparently? Which I think is a lying bitch. <laughs> she's come for the scene her first. She's not been doing it for 10 months. Yeah. Ah, so either that or she's got RuPaul doing her makeup. Ooh. Controversial. <laughs> I don't think she has got RuPaul She's doing her makeup. RuPaul. Jesus! <laughs> that was the bloody joke, girl. Even RuPaul. We don't even. Do RuPaul doesn't even know who's doing her makeup that? anymore. No. RuPaul's just sat there thinking, who's this person doing my <laughs> makeup? And why is my face so bright? And why am I wearing the same wig as episode three again? Uh, again? Same wig? Come on, girl. I was reading The Richest Drag Queens in the World and she's worth seven million bloody dollars. Go out and buy a good bloody wig. Thank you so much. Thank Ooh, you, Julie, thank for coming. You, and thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Here, 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 oh, here, 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 here. I'm just dancing, girl. Oh, yeah, come on, girl. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> and we'll see you all oh. next week. Thank you. Bye.